You know, I honestly can't believe I used to be interested in hipster gear like digital to analog players or dApps as people call them. Using an iPhone and Apple dongle has really made me realize what's important in audio. To showcase this, I thought I'd play a video of the introduction of the iPhone. Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. You see what I'm saying? You can have everything in one device. Why would you get some chunky device that can do nothing besides play audio? The Astle and Kern ConCube costs $14.99, which is insane for a music player if you think about it. Yeah, it has more power than the Apple dongle, but does it really matter? Get more efficient headphones. And we have a continuous playback time of literally 9 hours as stated on their product page. How does this compare to the iPhone 13 Pro at $9.99? two-thirds the price of the Aslan Kern, you might ask. Good news for Apple fans is that the iPhone 13 Pro has an audio playback time of up to 75 hours. Are you kidding me? 75 hours versus 9 hours. A phone that can do everything the Aslan Kern can a million times better. Up to 75 hours versus 9 hours at two-thirds the price. Let that sink in. And of course people are going to say, oh, the Astelin curtain sounds better, herp derp. The Apple dongle has a THD plus N ratio at 0.001%. 100% divided by 0.001% gets you 100,000. The ratio of the music you're listening to to distortion is 100,000. Utterly inaudible. 